y'all um smith's tong i'm just doing a friday first chapter this week i am reading molly moon's hypnotic time travel adventure i hope you enjoy the old temple priest stood slowly filled the metal lily pad dishes with milk as he did the sacred rats came scurrying from the shadows to drink they were, he believed, reborn people. He chuckled as he ran o- as they ran over his feet, and he dropped a handful of sweet meats on the floor. He nodded to the statue of the many armed gods before him, touched the purple mark on his forehead, and then crouched down on his crooked heels. He thought how pretty the big, flat dishes looked, each as white as moon with twenty dark gray rats around it sipping the milk. The rats looked like furry petals, their pink tails flitting about like fronds in the wind. He glanced through the temple's pillars to the sunny street outside. Three pony dealers were quarreling over some money and nearby children were chattering noisily as they watched some piglets shuffling in the gutter. Women in sari stood gossiping as they drew water from a stone well and a nearby camel groaned as it was loaded. A beggar sat cross-legged playing a flute through his nose. A holy cow whisked flies with its tails and surveyed the scene. Behind the cow was a rickety wooden pan stall. Here, a man with a pinched rat-like face and a big mustache and purple turban dismounted his horse. Straightening his silk coat, he stood impatiently, tapping the dusty road with a moccasin's foot. The pan seller sprinkled some brown batel nut powder onto a green batel leaf. He added grated coconut and aniseed and squeezed some red sticky syrup on top. Then he rolled it up and finally offered the breath freshener up to his customer. Without acknowledging him, the smart man took it and put it in his mouth. He dropped a few coins at the stallholder's feet and, chewing, mounted his horse again. As the pan seller turned, an incredible thing happened. There was a boom, and the horse and its rider vanished into thin air. The man fell on his knees in fear. In the temple, the priest waggled his head from side to side. Then he bowed to the rats before him and put his hands together and said a prayer. This chapter was very short, but I hope you enjoyed it and you want to continue reading to find out what happens in Molly's Moon's Hypnotic Time Travel Adventure. This is by Georgina Bing. Have a great week.